For the older technicians, do you recognize these? These are tappet wrenches. These are designed to work on the lash for the lifters and the valves on most engines. Back in the day, well, we didn't have hydraulic lifters. They had to adjust for changes in the valve train, particularly valves that would grow or lengthen and also issues with the push rod and also wear on the camshaft. You had to do a valve adjustment. But that all changed in the 1960s when we got hydraulic lifters. Hydraulic lifters, well, they used oil pressure to compensate for changes in valve train componentry. Oil pressure pressurized these units and helped take up the slack. But we learned something by the 1970s. If you didn't change the oil enough, well, the lifters, they would become stuck or become damaged, and that would damage the rest of the valve train. But it doesn't stop there. In the early 2000s, we actually got displacement on demand systems that actually work. Behind me is a GM vehicle with their latest V8 that has variable fuel control. With this system, it controls what cylinders are opening by controlling the valves. To do this, it uses a highly technical lifter that they control the oil pressure to with an oil control solenoid. This, well, it's the latest innovation of the lifter and the evolution of valve train itself. With this engine, it can go from a four cylinder to a six cylinder to an eight cylinder, depending on the demand on the engine. But the requirements for this system, well, it's going to require an excellent oil pump and also clean oil of the correct viscosity. Any chance that you have to change oil on one of these vehicles, make sure you're looking at the oil viscosity on the owner's manual or in your service information. You're gonna find it's a full synthetic. It might require a certain certification from the OEM, but make sure you're using the correct viscosity for the engine and also your climate. This way, you're gonna make sure that that highly technical valve train that not only compensates for wear and growth and shrinkage in the valve train system, but it's also going to compensate for demands on the engine that's put on it by the ECM. I'm Andrew Martell, thank you very much.